Hello again. It's almost the exact same lesson as the sum of uh, factoring the sum of uh, two perfect cubes, uh, except now we're doing the difference of factoring two perfect cubes. So I change my addition to a subtraction, uh, which changes this addition to a subtraction, but it changes this subtraction to an addition, and that's the only real difference in the formula. I use the same exact examples, however, I um, you know put a negative instead of a positive. So. Using that information, if you already saw the previous lesson, it's x cubed minus 3 cubed. And this one is 2x squared to the third power minus 1 cubed. That's because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, and x squared times x squared times x squared is x to the sixth. Or x squared to the third is x to the sixth. So if I want to factor this bad boy, I take my a term, which is just x. Subtracted by just my b term, which is 3. Now, how do I get x cubed from only x? x times x squared will work. And I have uh, 3 to the first, and I need 3 to the third, so it's 3 to the second. Uh, something that you always have to know, well, not uh, uh, something that you always have to know is that the last term is always positive, whether it's the difference of two cubes or the sum of two cubes, when you're factoring it in this particular form. And then you just take the opposite sign, which is positive, and combine them. 3 times x is 3x. We're going to simplify just a step further. Don't leave it as 3 squared, make it 9. And then if you want to find the imaginary root if you were doing this type of a problem, well this one would be 3, that's pretty easy, you just take the opposite. This one you have to use the quadratic formula for. Moving along. It's the a term subtracted by the b term. 2 times what will be 8? That's 4. x squared times what will be x to the 6th? It's x to the 4th. Uh, this is always going to be a positive, the last term. And it's 1 squared. You just put 1. Sick of writing the same step over and over. Change that to a positive. Combine 2x squared times 1, it's 2x squared. That's pretty much all you can do in terms of factorization. It's pretty cool. Uh, some people might argue, can't you factor that? No, you can't. It, it's, it's not going to work. Um, yeah. That's it for the uh, difference of two perfect cubes uh, when you're factoring them. Uh, other than that, I hope that was helpful. Have a good day for now. Goodbye.